If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. I uh, figured I'd do the evolution video right now while my St. Max video is being rendered out. Uh, guys, today we have the new evolution to check out. It's something called something something toughen up or something. Toughen up. Okay, cool, cool. Do I have players in this account for toughen up? Let's see. Not a thing. <laughs> Not a thing. I have to do all the... I have to do all the fodder for like the SPCs and stuff, but um, yeah, so let's see what types of cards you can get from this. So toughen up evolutions is going to give you a plus five for pace, plus four for passing, plus one for dribbling, plus one for physical, win one, achieve one clean sheet, win one squad battles. Oh, that's super easy. Look, guys, they're actually giving us decent content. Thumbs up. Um, okay, cool. So. Guys, from this promo, or from this Evolutions, we're going to be checking out some of the main players that people are going to be taking a look at. Uh, the first one here is going to be the new Bernardo Silva Evolutions card. So obviously with this card, guys, there's going to be this one, and then there's obviously going to be the new one that just came out that is not too crazy expensive on the market. He's 146k, right? Uh, with this card being 146k, he is lower, but you also have to take into consideration potential upgrades in the future, right? Because with the thunderstruck promo these guys can upgrade from one win two wins and three wins right so that is a huge variable to work with as of right now because with evolutions we don't really know where cards are going to head towards in the future because as of right now between the difference of the two you could see that you know this one has a little bit better dribbling capabilities um and the evolutions version also has better passing so dribbling and passing is better on this card which at least adds a variable to it for a future upgrade uh in case they do evolutions a certain way right so with bernardo silva on this card still a four star three star player from the upgrade as, as long as they don't tell me i could do it here let's see so he gets press proven that's the main thing here okay so press proven with a high high work rate um, you know, it's a four star skiller with a three star weak foot, left footed, five foot eight, high, high. I mean, honestly, I can pretty much tell you what the card is like as of right now. On a Hunter Chemist style, it still requires the upgrades for what the game is like nowadays. However, his dribbling is really good to work with the technical and all that kind of stuff, right? The technical play style is a really, really huge one to work with in this year's game to kind of, you know, get into certain positions, break the defensive line. So the fact that he has that is obviously going to be a very huge variable to work with. The left stick dribbling also being good is definitely very nice, but he definitely needs those improvements in the future. I mean, technically speaking, you could use this card in a 4-3-2-1, play him as your attacking oriented center mid, shadow chemistry style, hunter chemistry style. I prefer hunter, if anything, right? Because he does have some defensive capability, so it's not necessarily a bad option to work with. But again, be very mindful that the other card at 140k, which is not a bad price, to be honest, might still go down. Who knows? Um, is definitely fairly valued. I think Conte is probably going to be i would say like a bigger option like there's obviously the inform version of this car but the inform version is at 54k so this is like a cheaper evolution that you're looking into the future with basically right uh because with conte in game guys being your french saudi league player that plays in the midfield setup i think that this is the only card you can use as of right now unless there's like a fabinho i think fabinho got um i think it was like the hero is it hero no fc live that's what it's called right this card exists that could potentially upgrade in the future that gives you Brazilian Saudi League links. So it just depends on what you're going for, right? Because with Fabinho in game on a shadow chemistry style, it is a card that requires future upgrades. He needs the pro player that's using him to go further ahead because on a shadow chemistry style, he does need the extra pace, right? However, Fabinho is also not French, right? So because he's French and because the new um, flashback St. Max card came out, that's going to be a really huge variable to work with when it comes to the chemistry links with the card. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Personal preference wise, I do prefer the bigger guys in the midfield setup. Now, some people were using N'Golo Conte's inform card from before. I'm going to be honest. I tried him out for a little bit. I personally wasn't too crazy about him because the main link with him is obviously to uh, Kareem Benzema. It gives you a nice little link to Jota as well. If you did that evolution card. So I think there's going to be more variables to work with here. Press Proven will definitely add to the card. Intercept is really nice uh, when it comes to like the AI stuff, when it comes to, you know, blocking out certain areas defensively. But 
it's a type of card that I feel like still requires certain play styles to be very, very good defensively. But again, guys, these these evolutions, they're not hard to unlock, right? It's very, very few games. Win one, achieve one clean sheet, and then win one squad battles. You can't really go wrong with it, right? I think this is more for the people that are starting off in the game as of right now because of Black Friday being out. So they can get cards from like packs and then they can put them towards the SBCs. They just released the flashback St. Max. You work with that variable on Conte and people can kind of build their squads that way. So it kind of makes sense to release a lot of these types of cards um, for these specific reasons, right? Paul Pogba is another one that's trending as well. Uh, to be fair, this card does look a little bit more usable. I will admit he does look a little bit more usable. However, is it a card that a lot of people will use? It, it depends, right? Because from what I'm looking at uh, or from what I'm seeing when it comes to this card, I would have to use them as the attacking rated player. By default, I prefer someone that dribbles a little bit more, right? Uh, but if I were to use Pogba in that main attacking position, playing in that center mid position, um, I need to see what he looks like after the upgrades, right? So let's take a look here. Um, evolutions here and then toughen up. So first of all, in order for you to have the full upgrade on the card, is triple threat attacker still a thing? Okay, so you could technically still use triple threat attacker on the card for 50k, and then you would use it towards the toughen up afterwards, uh, which would drastically increase the card's pace, right? Which is definitely lacking before. He is a five-star, four-star player, right? So there's a few variables to work with because this card is a lengthy player as well, right? So being lengthy definitely adds to it because let's say, for instance, I were to give him a hunter chemistry style and I'm working with, you know, the five-star skills, the four-star weak foot, he'd still be nice to use in that area, right? So it wouldn't necessarily be a bad choice to work with if I were to decide to use him in that general spot, especially since he has the Trivella play style to work with, right? Trivella Plus, which could be really cool. Uh, he's got technical press proven, so technical kind of adds to the fact that, you know, even if his agility and balance is not in a great spot, you can kind of utilize the technical to use the R1 dribbling to get into certain positions anyways, right? So not necessarily too bad there as well. Uh, another card that is trending is obviously going to be uh, the Kieran Trippier card, uh, because with this card, I could see people using him in the fullback position for the Newcastle links as of right now. Obviously, there's the inform card, but the inform card is significantly lower in regards to usability. I would say that this card's probably in a similar boat because obviously pace is very important in the fullback. Well, it's, it's important in the defensive positions in general, but... With Trippier in game, if you give him a, a shadow chemistry style, right, and you are working with some Newcastle players as of right now, then it's going to be really cool to work with in that area because obviously from the Evolutions version of the card, he does get a good upgrade. He is a card that you have to get the inform for, right? And the inform probably 55k as of right now. So it probably went up a little bit just in case you want to work with those Newcastle links. But yeah, on a shadow chemistry style, with this card, you do get higher acceleration. Sprint speed is still on the lower side uh, with defensive stats being in a good area and strength being lower. So again, this is a card I would say mainly for sentimental value uh, to unlock with potential in the future. Because here's the thing about Trippier as well, is that he does have the whipped pass plus, which to be fair, is a very, very good play style to work with. So let's say for instance, you're in a certain situation in game where you need to put him in like the midfield setup. I know Tex rocks a setup where he has like a 4-1-4-1. Um, and whipped pass is not the one he uses. It's like long ball or something that he uses for like the side position players. But again, the passing is mainly gonna be for like the side positions to kind of whip in that cross score those types of opportunities so if you're using like physical dudes up top that are really good in the air then obviously having the whipped pass for that specific variable could be something to look into right because Trippier is obviously very good at making the ball in those ways uh we have a player over here that plays for Barcelona so for the Barcelona people uh this guy is actually formatted pretty decently I'm gonna be honest man like this actually looks like a very very interesting card because if you were to have done all of the initial things and this is the thing about evolutions you never know what they're going to do with certain cards right like if they did this to an fc portal player randomly i'd be like oh my goodness right but take a look at this card so if you went with golden glow up part one into a part two and then you'd put them into centurion's box to box which to be fair you would have been out of your mind to do right and then you put them in toughen up for the people that were going for barcelona sentimental value they just got a card that's actually pretty decent to use in the game. Not as good as someone like Lorente, I'll tell you that right off the bat, right? Lorente is gonna, I think Lorente was from the Centurion's box to box, right? 
Sorry, there's been so much content that my brain is kind of fried a little bit. Uh, Centurions, well, well, I can't actually check right now. Actually, no, I can check. All I have to do is do this go into popular evolution players and i don't know if they would still have it here to be fair centurions box a box it's not attacking mid i guess it's like whatever is available pretty much pretty sure lorente was a box a box let's just go search his, his actual name here marcus lorente evolutions yeah box to box i mean if you didn't choose lorente honestly you're out of your mind but unless you were going for sentimental value like fabio vieta got his upgrades as well so that was obviously a variable to work with there but hey a nice little barcelona player for people that uh, actually went down the route the route of upgrading a youth talent for barcelona to a card that is going to be more than usable in the middle of the gameplay now like if i were to give this card a hunter chemistry style with the play styles of tiki taka pings pass relentless bruiser press, press proven you got yourself a very nice center mid that could be used in that attacking oriented role for the 4-3-2-1 so it's not too bad there right um next up we have is going to be gundawan who has 72 pace so i'm not like too crazy invested in that gundawan is not really usually like a crazy special card to use in fifa honestly they never they never really do anything too saucy to the card thomas Partey is a pretty cool one to be fair that's actually not bad as a physical type midfielder that i would see mainly being used in like a 4-2-3-1 setup on stay back while attacking uh, maybe even like a 4-3-2-1 is stay back while attacking, but because he's a medium high work rate card, while being a mostly lengthy player on a shadow chemistry style, that would be a very usable Arsenal's, uh, Arsenal card, right? So for someone like Neb that's doing like the Arsenal Evo cards, this is the only option that he has. This is a really cool card for him to unlock, uh, to use him in the Arsenal team to have a proper medium high work rate player in that position next to someone like Declan Rice, right? So that's really cool uh, to be able to do stuff like that because if you need two medium high work rate cards, you can do that. But even with Declan Rice's card, right? Which was the Trailblazer SBC, which is actually a very, it was a very nice SBC. I, I liked the price of it and stuff. Um, again, you're playing two, uh, two CDMs, four, two, three, one. If you need to have two defensive oriented cards, that's a variable that you can work with, right? So some very cool stuff there as well. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, we have Pavard, who is a center back, to be fair, who has 80 pace. Shadow Chemistry style, he's a controlled, lengthy player, has some physical capabilities, but more of a card for the future. Also medium, medium, so not like too crazy there. Um, we have Loftus Cheek, who can upgrade, I'm guessing, from the new promo card. Oh no, so welcome to Evolutions first, Golden Glow part two. Centurions box to box into toughen up. So I don't know who would have done that, but if they did, I mean, imagine doing that without knowing. That's the that's the kicker, right? Coutinho has a new card as well from Welcome to Evolutions. Pacey Winger toughen up on a Hunter chemistry style. He's still kind of low in certain areas to be um, a really really cool card. What else we got here? Um, we got Van de Beek. Van de Beek. Uh, Welcome to Evolutions. Golden Glow up part two. Centurion's box to box midfielder and tough enough. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt people did this one. See, that's the thing though. Like, obviously, you would have to kind of like see maybe what it's gonna be in the future. But welcome to Evolutions one. This is like to me, this is a crazy one because they gave you like what one of those things. So you have to be like a super massive fan for you to put a welcome to Evolutions on Donny to get those upgrades like these things should be released a little bit more honestly it's just like a plus one which i mean it still makes a difference but still i mean but the with the future upgrades and stuff it's 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 nice high medium six foot tall shadow chemistry style i mean you'd be working with a pretty decent card to be fair right play styles he has flair trivella tiki taka pinks pass relentless bruiser press proven who hey who has this card you what do you guys let me know bro who has this card huh Agility and balance lower. I mean, dude, this card looks like a nice stay back cover center center mid in like a 4-3-2-1. That's what I would say with him. It's an interesting one. Not too bad, not too bad. Loftus Cheek, obviously with the improvements, as we mentioned earlier, could be like okay to use. Uh, Muller, Thomas Partey, Rodriguez, Arthur. Arthur? Brazilian? I mean, uh, maybe. Marco Royce, eh. Coutinho, Locatelli. Locatelli has a new card too. Yeah, I mean, this one is probably going to be more ideal if he gets the upgrades, right? Like, that's the difference between the two is whether or not one's going to get the upgrades over the other because you have to understand that they're both medium high work rate players. And on a Shadow Chemistry style, they're mostly lengthy as well. So, in the CDM position, you know, if you're playing, if you're playing these guys in these roles, I mean, it could be very, very helpful to have 
someone who has good defensive capabilities in that spot. So not necessarily too bad there. East Coast, my boy, bro. If they ever did like a flashback East Coast card, we would be cooking, my boy. I want to check something here, right? So if I were to go for like sentimental value, oh, Benton Core. Oh, Gyu is going to be a little bit annoyed at this one. Oh, never mind. Centurion's box to box. Wait, what's the difference with the, between the two? Oh, buddy, he's going to prefer the pace. Are you kidding me? Uh, defensive stat. Nah, you would have preferred the pace, I think, man. Yeah, I think the pace would have been preferable. Medium high, toughen up does what to him? Medium high as well. I mean, for a Spurs player, it's still pretty cool to work with. Right? If you didn't go in that direction. But I think he already got a different card. Joselu, Chalanoglu. Bovacic for the Chelsea guys. McAllister for the Liverpool guys. He's a direct upgrade as well. Centurion's attacking mid was the other one, so no chance on that one. Uh, Toliso, Pavard. Go back to toughen up here. <clears throat> Witzel, Casado. Under Herrera. PSG links. Oh no, PSG. I'm thinking way too far back. <laughs> way too far back on that one. Uh, Tiago, Firmino, Isco, Muller, Trippier. No. Jossalu, I mean. I'm looking at the ratings, right? Because sometimes there's like hidden gems in there. Sometimes there's hidden gems. Guerrero, Portuguese. Eh. I mean, this one's not like too bad. The sprint speed's on the lower side. Two star. Eh, I wouldn't do that. Even I wouldn't do that, boys. Even I wouldn't. Lo Celso. Oh, Los Celso, Gyu. You could probably maybe get him if you didn't do the evolutions on any of... Oh, I mean, uh, actually, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ruben Neves, Portuguese, 70 pace. Up and up. 70 pace for him. Compared to what? Oh, I mean, it's a pretty big difference. Medium high Portuguese player on a shadow chemistry style. I mean, uh, usability is there. Definitely the usability front. Endo for Liverpool links, Tadic, Fofana, Cherki, Curtis Jones for the Liverpool guys. Yeah, I'm trying to see like more here. Toughen up. Toughen up, toughen up. I'm trying to see like the female players. There's always like the female players. There's always like players that are actually pretty decent, to be fair, if you actually use them for the links and whatnot. A couple of a uh, couple of decent ones. What is this? Oh, that's from Centurion's Box of Box. I was about to say, bro. <laughs> uh, like with the SBC coming out, eh? It'd be like that sometimes. Um, As far as I am concerned, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of like sentimental cards here that you could have unlocked for sure. I'm not seeing anything like too crazy afterwards, right? So the initial ones are definitely going to be the big ones like Conte and Bernardo Silva for sure. I think Conte is going to be like a really big one because of the French and Saudi League links, especially at this point in the game. But a pretty cool evolution to release to the general public for people that are getting into the game as of right now with the potential of getting some nice upgrades in the future. So we'll see how they do, man, because I, I could see both of those cards getting like team of the season type players. So... It depends on what play styles they have from the evolutions and all that kind of stuff, right? So, uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.